Bodega's head felt groggy and faint as he shifted his fingers to turn the metal steering wheel of his spaceship. Maybe it was too many hefty cups of space coffee for just the mere thought <laughs> of the smooth ceramic of a mug against his lips felt disgusting and repulsive. Man, this guy's already better than me at writing. What the fuck? <laughs> it was almost comical how the substance made to give him energy at this point only drew it from him. That's nice. Jake, can you cover me for a bit? I'm feeling under the weather, Bodega called to his assistant, his eyes feeling heavy and stomach tying itself into unsteadying knots. China, Jake replied, patting <laughs> Bodega's shoulder and encouraging him to get up, taking his place. Jake grabbing the wheel excitedly as Bodega drudged towards his bunk. He threw himself onto his bed and let his eyes fall heavy, letting out a relieving breath. He drifted awake, a gentle face smiling over him. He furrowed his slicing brow, noticing that he'd never seen the handsome stranger's face before. Hello, sir, I am Nicholas Cage, he smiled, <laughs> offering his hand to help Bodega out of his bed. <laughs> Bodega took his hand and straightened his posture, looking around slightly suspiciously. Where's Jake? Bodega asked, picking up his hat off of the side table and placing it in the usual spot on his head. Jake is out looking for supplies, he stated kindly. While you were dozing off, he landed here. I saw this vessel and he let me in. Sad to say that he may be dead now, though. Bodega's smile dropped from his face. And why would that oh be? God. He asked, still in shock of what he was hearing. There's a pretty bad monster out there, one that eats people. Takes a few months to fully eat a corpse. You never really see it, but it comes back nightly to feed. Bodega hung his head. Right. It's a real shame, he responded. I'm sorry about him, Nick said apologetically. <laughs> Space coffee? <laughs> Bodega smiled. <laughs> Only if you know how to make it, he grinned, walking towards the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know where this is going! <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. Bodega oh started to God. notice, after several days, that Nick was trying to seduce him. Nick would, <laughs> oh, no! Nick would flip his oh, hair no! at him and wink, flexing proudly. This happening more often than he would like to admit. The animal might be on our basement now, Nick told him that day, so just don't go down there, trust me. Oh, we we well, we'll God. find out. Weeks they're like later, in suburbia somewhere <laughs> making coffee for each other. The, the, this is, they're like on a spaceship and a house, I don't know. Weeks right. later, Bodega journeyed into the basement for more space coffee beans, forgetting what Nick had recommended. The stairs seemed creakier than usual. Peering around the corner, <laughs> grabbing some coffee beans, out of the corner of his eye he saw a figure, its mouth splattered in blood, eating the remains of a corpse wearing a flannel shirt. The remains of Jake. Without uh -oh. hesitation, no. he drew his gun and fired seven quick rounds, shooting the creature onto the ground. As he approached the corpse, a horrified look glided across his face. The monster was Nick! Tears bloomed into his eyes, falling onto the ground like rain, flowing down his face like water out of a sink. Nick, he mumbled, wiping his face, <laughs> failing to stop the tears. All at once, he noticed how much he loved Nick, how much he'd paid to taste his delicious burned space coffee just one more time. <laughs> He picked up Nick's head, allowing his tears to drip on his rested, beautiful face. Bodega had been so foolish, he'd fallen deeply in love with Nicolas Cage. And now his heart had snapped in two. His girlfriend was nothing. Jake was nothing. But Nick could never become nothing. Nick's blood was on his hands. It was his fault. He felt like he was going to throw up. He was truly, sickly, stupidly in love. The end. Why the f- Why was he eating Jake? I don't get it! I don't know. Oh my god.